Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday with me, Mioni. This is the weekly video series getting you the most out of the Fashion Report minigame located in the Gold Saucer every week when judging begins on a Friday. This is week 86 and this time around the theme is Le Mins and Respite. The clues this time include a pirate's life for chest to adventure for legs, I believe in magic for boots and coiled finally for the next slot. This video features a 100 score, an 80 with just dies, and the easiest 80 possible of the week. For 100 score, I went with the Holy Rainbow Shirt of Casting. Any Holy Rainbow Shirt will work, and you can actually buy these from Nor Lays, an NPC in the Pillars of Ishgard Market District, off the level 52 tabs for your respective role. Alternatively, the Shirt of the Divine Hero from Tamtara and Stone Vigil Hard Mode will also work, and the Shirt of the Divine Light from Hullbreaker Isle and Tamtara Hard Mode will also work for gold rating this week. For the legs, I went with the Extreme Survival Slops, which are a weaving craft, and you can also go for the Linen Half Slops and the Survival Half Slops as well for this slot. For the boots, I went with the Archaeo Skin Shoes of Casting. This is from the level 50 tab of your selected role from Norlays in Ishgard's Market District once again. And you could also get the Archaeo Skin Shoes of Aiming and the Archaeo Skin Shoes of Casting from Norlays as well for gold rating. Also, the Pilgrim Shoes from Brayflock's Longstop Hard Mode and the Magician Shoes from the Lost City of Amdapur also give you a gold sticker. Finally, I went with the Allegan Choker of Casting for the next slot, and this drops inside the second coil of Bahamut, turn 1. In addition, the Fending Choker, Healing Choker, and Slaying Choker, if they're the ones you want, actually drop from the second coil, turn 2, and the Aiming Choker drops from turn 3. It can take some time for them to drop with all of the RNG involved and other items that can drop, such as helms and shoes, but shouldn't take too long if you've got about half an hour spare. I recommend unsinking turn 1 of the second coil to get the casting necklace as it's very quick in comparison to some of the later turns. So in general it's not a bad 100 score but if you want a quick and dirty 80 score just to get your maximum MGP for the week, here's the die option. Dye everything on the left side including your weapon soot black apart from your gloves which you will actually need to dye Dalamud red. This will get you an easy 80 score if every slot of gear on your character sheet is filled with a piece of visible gear. This is the easiest dye option we've had in a very very long time and you might want to make use of it. And finally, the easiest 80 that's possible from a combination of things, grab yourself a rainbow shirt of your very own choice depending on your class from Norlays in the Pillars and dye any helm in the game soot black. If every slot is filled on your character sheet with visible items, you will get 80 score guaranteed, which is very, very simple this week, and here we are on another character to show that it works for sure. This is one of the easiest MGP farming weeks in my opinion, Ven, but if you have your own solutions that you feel are better or easier, feel free to post those in the comments section below, or you can check out the Reddit thread for the Fashion Report results, linked in the description as usual every week that takes you to Reddit. Either way, thank you all kindly for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.